has been the talk of Hollywood this week, the demise of the marriage of Britney Spears after just 14 months. It comes just over a year after Britney finally left the shackles of her conservatorship. Her music topped the charts, but it was her private life that dominated headlines. Me, baby, one more time. Oops, I did it again. After less than a decade as a pop sensation, the pressure of life in the public eye took its toll. After being hospitalised under psychiatric hold, Britney was placed in a conservatorship in 2008, her dad Jamie taking control of her personal and business affairs. But Britney continued to churn out hits and tour, all while reportedly mentally unstable. Then came the Free Britney movement. What do we want? Free Britney! And after 13 long years, her conservatorship finally came to an end. <laughs> Britney was a free woman, the star taking control of her life and eventually tying the knot with her long-term boyfriend. Despite their initial elation, fans quickly grew concerned as the star began to share stranger and stranger Instagram posts. Now, after 14 months of marriage, Britney and Sam have split, her ex demanding a significant payout from the star while levelling claims she was violent and erratic. So let's bring in Dr. Elizabeth Lombardo, celebrity psychologist in Chicago. Doctor, good morning to you. Um, it just feels like this is so sad, what's playing out very publicly for Britney. It is so sad. And, you know, anyone who's going through the breakup of a marriage is struggling and to have to be exposed to the world as you're going through it really poses more challenges for her. I, I think a lot of people, especially her, her hardcore fans, were hoping that this marriage to Sam was the beginning of a happier time for her, some more stability in her life, especially um, in terms of the people surrounding her. But this really isn't going to help, isn't it? You know, we've seen some of the trouble she's been through in recent years. This must be surely um, a bad turning point for her. Of course, when anyone goes through a breakup of a significant relationship, such as a marriage, it's going to cause more stress, whether that's what was causing some of the issues she was having or this is a consequence of it, we don't know. But we do know that it's not going to necessarily help how she's doing mentally. And we want to make sure that she and anyone else out there who's going through something similar gets the help that they need. Um, I think it, it also adds weight, unfortunately, for Brittany um, for what was in place before those arguing and her family argued that she needed to be tightly uh, reined in um, in regards to her life, um, this doesn't help her and, and you wonder if she's going to have the right people around her ever. Yeah, I mean, you certainly hope so. Here's the thing. I work with a lot of celebrities and no one teaches you how to be a celebrity. No one teaches you how to deal with being in the limelight without having, you know, she she grew up really in the spotlight and she didn't have some of the experiences and the development maybe that other people do. So understanding that this is a challenging time for her, it's a time, I think, for us to give her some grace and give her some support as she's moving forward. What do you think the future looks looks like for her at the moment because we know she's got a book coming out. She's likely to do some publicity around that. So she's going to be back in the spotlight in a big way. Uh, what are the best options for her? Uh, what would you be advising, I suppose, going forward? Yeah, I mean, if, if I were her coach, if I were her psychologist, I'd make sure that she really was addressing her mental well-being. And by that, I don't just mean mental illness. I simply mean stress. So there's something I call the psychological red zone when we experience high levels of stress. And we've all been there before. We don't always act our best. We don't always think our best. So if I were working with her or when I work with people like her going through challenging times, it's really about how can you be your best self right now? How can you be taking care of yourself emotionally? as well as physically so that you can move forward in a positive This is going to be, I mean, there's more videos now in the last 24 hours. I mean, that's, that's an area where you think, oh, I hope someone's there. Yeah, yeah. And not just one person, but, but several people mm. around her to really not just protect her, but to support her and elevate her as she's trying to move forward. Oh, yeah, I really like her. I think she's dealt with a lot. Yeah, she has. All right, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> 
Okay. What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?